Hello again. Regional Victorians will emerge from stay-at-home orders at midnight. Grade Prep 1 and 2 and Year 12s will also return to the classroom. Investigations have begun into the latest assault at the Malmesbury Youth Justice Centre. Two men were attacked but neither were seriously injured. And a $600,000 cash injection will help improve maternity services at Bendigo Health. I'll see you soon. Hello again. Lockdown restrictions will ease across most parts of regional Victoria at midnight. It comes after the state recorded 324 cases of COVID overnight. CFA crews had a busy afternoon yesterday responding to a truck fire at Mossy Face and a house fire at Inverloch. And Mallacoota residents are warned of increased shark activity following a dead whale being washed out to sea. I'll see you soon for more local news. Good evening. Regional Victoria is just hours away from coming out of lockdown, while Aubrey will be freed tomorrow night. Restrictions will ease, but the permit system will be back as businesses question if it's viable to open for only 10 patrons at a time. And for the second year in a row, the Shepparton show has been cancelled due to COVID. Partly cloudy and 19 degrees in Albury, Wodonga tomorrow. Hello again. Lockdown restrictions will ease across most of regional Victoria at midnight. It comes after the state recorded 324 cases of COVID overnight. A man has been arrested in relation to the alleged murder of a warnable woman in the Georgia capital. And in sport, Collingwood footballer and Lake Wendere export Jordan Ruffhead has been nominated for a prestigious Jim Steins Award. I'll see you soon.